So now that you know how to change the layering order of objects, you can start doing some really cool things. However, I did want to point out this one situation that there's no doubt in my mind that you'll run into from time to time. So here's a slide about our bamboo slicker that we sell, and it comes in two different colors. So I'm going to put these pictures of the two slickers on this slide. I'm going to change the layout and start inserting my picture back in my trusty assets folder. Okay. Here's a yellow one. I can resize it a little bit so it looks a little bit bigger. And now to get the second one on there, I'm going to select Insert, Pictures, choose my red one, and now resize it. But here's the problem. This does not look good at all. This photo is not transparent. Neither is the other one. So even if I change the layering order of them, it still wouldn't matter because I'm going to be layering a white photo on top of another white photo. Well, PowerPoint has a neat photo called Remove Background, in which you can actually make photos transparent. So in the Picture Tools Format Ribbon Toolbar, I'm going to select Remove Background. We're going to get rid of this white background and make the whole picture transparent. So the purple area is what PowerPoint is going to make transparent, and it tries to guess what it thinks you're going to keep. Now what I can do, my first job, is to take my mouse and click and drag on all these corners and select the entire image, because no matter what, I need to get this whole slicker into the picture. So once I click and drag on all my corners and make the photo area visible, we'll see how we're doing. I can still see a big purple area in the hood, so we'll probably need to take care of that after. It cleared up a little bit, but there's still some purple. I don't want to lose that and make that transparent either. So I'm going to come back up here to this Mark Areas to Keep in the Background Removal Ribbon Toolbar, and I'm going to get a pen icon. So I'm going to take this icon and just drag it all the way across to the area that I want to keep to let PowerPoint know that that gray needs to stay in the photo. Once my entire photo is visible and I've got everything that I want and everything that I want to be transparent is colored purple, I'm going to select Keep Changes. There. Now it's made my photo transparent and now it looks really classy. I can even see the color of the other one coming through the photo. Let's do that one more time to our other product, our Chameleon Furniture. I'm going to change the layout again, click to insert a picture, insert another picture, resize it so it looks a little bit better, and now I'm going to make it transparent. So again, in my Picture Tools Format toolbar, I'm going to select Remove Background. This time it actually did a really good job right away of figuring out what I want to keep. I do need to click and drag and make sure my entire picture is covered. Now sometimes you have to wait all the way to the end to find out what it's actually going to include in the photo. For example, it wasn't until this very last click that it included these gray casters on the chair. When I'm happy, I'm going to select Keep Changes. And now I've got two more great photos here. I can resize this one a little bit just so I can see all my text in the title bar. Drag it around, and now I can still overlay them. So learning how to remove the background of images, it's a huge step in taking your presentations up to that next level, even if you're not a graphic artist.